Your Majesty, your monthly eyes and ears strategic update for the coming season in the Westlands. What was, what will be, and what is may yet be spoiled by this report, which contains major spoilers for all of season one of this turning of the Wheel of Time, and minor plot-related spoilers for books two and three of last turning. The reports indicate the Aiel are stirring in the waste, gathering and mustering, to move in relatively large numbers across the spine of the world and into the Westlands in the coming season. As for why, some say they have their own promised one to search for, the Karakarn. Others claim they are preparing for another invasion of the Westlands. Some say that an unspeakable evil from Shara to the east is beginning to drive them out of the waste. Whatever the reason, we must watch them closely to anticipate their next move. Reports also indicate the presence of Aiel in the area of Falma. This is across the continent from their homeland in the Waste, which begs the question, how are Aiel travelling from the Waste to the vicinity of Falma without notice? We will outline three possibilities. Option 1. Small groups of scouts. Aiel are known to be excellent scouts, and could have passed quickly in secrecy across the Westlands with ease, as long as they proceeded with care, and in small teams of around five. If they are searching for some thing or someone in particular, and were not yet successful, these parties may have converged at Falmer after travelling from the east to the westernmost point of the Westlands. This is the most likely explanation, and was first discussed publicly by the Bard of the Red Hand. Option 2. The Ways Our eyes and ears report possible increased activity around the Waygate near the ruined city in the Waste, called Ruidaean, and the Waygate near Falmer, opening the possibility that the Aiel simply entered the Ways at Ruidaean and exited at Falmer. Even if the Aiel sent scouts to former Overland, they may have explored using the ways as an escape path of last resort. We say this because, according to sources, the rumoured movements near Rudean may actually have instead occurred near the Tier Waygate. There is some ambiguity in the matter. My limited understanding of the ways indicates Tier's Gate is considerably closer to Former's Gate than Rudean's making it ideal for a rapid escape from pursuit that nonetheless would place them relatively close to the waste in the real world. Option 3. Other unconventional means. This is very unlikely, as it assumes the Aiel have access to knowledge from the Age of Legends, portal stones, or even travelling, the rumoured ability to open direct point-to-point -point portals anywhere using the One Power. Of course, any knowledge they have of portal stones would be of great interest to us and would warrant further inquiry on our part. Conventional wisdom is that the Aiel know little to nothing of the One Power, and yet, perhaps this perception is born of our own ignorance, and they in fact have great knowledge and strength that they seek to conceal from those of us in the Westlands. Their use of such advanced knowledge would quickly and clearly mark them as much stronger in the One Power than our own Aes Sedai, in defiance of their appearing to be so-called savages to prejudice eyes and minds. And I assure your majesty that my clerks and I cultivate an attitude of intellectual openness and rigor that eschews said biases, unlike most clerks of other realms. Your Majesty, this concludes our report. My ladies and lords of the Westlands, rulers from sundry lands, if you find the reports my clerks and I produce to be helpful as you labor in the service of your people, do honor us with your raised thumbs and subscriptions. Until our next report.